Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone to another episode in this series of Nokia. Today I'll be talking about one of the greatest phones to be ever built uh, on earth and it's the Nokia 808. It comes with this huge massive 40 megapixel sensor and it had a special uh, trick up its sleeves that uh, it had a xenon flash. Uh, not much phones have it and it's not required because of the improvements in low light capabilities but remember we are talking about 2012 uh, the number one reason why i prefer this phone is that uh, it's compact as you can see i have average hands i can swipe from top down i can reach the keyboard and uh, it, everything is just uh, so manageable you know uh, if i want to lock the phone i can lock we have a beautiful always on display I can unlock the phone so basically always on is disabled sorry uh, so coming back to point number two why I think this phone is awesome it's because it has Symbian uh, you can see that it has a capacitive screen not the resistive screen from the other Nokia's and it's just beautiful you know like swiping through it's fluid like an iPhone uh, again you have to remember it's the iPhone that destroyed Nokia uh, or, or it was one of the reasons uh, but uh, this phone is so much optimized to touch to thumb input and that's going to be my point number three for today that virtually everything can be accessed from just your thumb you don't have to drag your fingers all the way up to search google play store you don't have to go all the way in the corner or the right to search it is just very simple very straightforward uh, again you know it has a list of basic apps uh, most of these are I believe are open source I am not exactly sure how Nokia worked back in the days but uh, I do intend to install a lot of uh, SIS files on it I do have it from my old uh, 808 that I used in 2012 but uh, again uh, this is just a summary you know I could definitely go uh, deeper into each app and uh, how it works uh, we can go into maps because that was one of the main uh, things about this uh, again we don't have a lock but uh, we can go into that as well uh, we can go into the gallery app and as you can see it's just uh, beautiful uh, you know uh, the sensor on this is one of the best uh, this is a Motorola action cam and as you can see we can infinitely keep on zooming into it because of the big sensor size animations are beautiful uh, coming to customization uh, Apple and Android have been like uh, pushing each other you know uh, you know to be the best uh, version of information at glance but I feel Simi did a better job because as you can see they have icons they have some actionable widgets and at the same time they have some information widgets mixed so and this was called basically the hub i believe uh, all your twitter uh, facebook instagram feeds would come at one place so it was a social hub and as you can see the more i keep on scrolling the wallpaper keeps on changing and this level of customization can never be seen even in windows x windows phone blackberry uh, Apple it, it's just hilarious you know like where Nokia was and uh, where uh, even even uh, they can't be reaching now you know all these uh, phone uh, companies and uh, uh, sorry software companies uh, and as you can see we have a beautiful AMOLED screen uh, we have a dark mode enabled by default there is no white mode but on AMOLED it just looks lovely uh, let's go ahead and open settings sorry I am trying to okay so the more beautiful thing about this phone is that uh, the wallpaper doesn't even just uh, cover up your background but it replaces all the default apps uh, most of the default app backgrounds like if you go to call like there's a common wallpaper uh, on it so it shows that the level of customization how much you could customize the Symbian uh, so long press wow okay so long press you go into multitasking butter smooth and uh, yes we do have asphalt uh, we'll get back into that in another video 
but I would like to go back into settings and uh, privacy find my location and uh, product improvement off so again you know everything is touch optimized everything is down on the bottom default apps I used uh, in 2012 uh, whatsapp uh, skype and everything regularly and everything was touch optimized for your thumb didn't have to drag all the way up go for an 18 screen I feel that phones should be this size compact and they should be a tablet uh, 8 inch tablet 7 inch tablet you know for all your multimedia needs gaming needs but a phone should have been just a phone a camera centric phone just to make some basic calls and not exactly a media consumption device for a media consumption you can go for a laptop a tablet but uh, again since the Samsung Note came out it just uh, made the boundaries uh, blur you know between tablets and smartphones so you don't get this kind of uh, beautiful uh, compact feeling uh, in your hand uh, and again you know that's something that uh, really pisses me off uh, I, I do have a Note 10 Plus I love that phone but the size just kills me uh, every time I have to do something quick it's just a pain uh, uh, Samsung after Nokia is my favorite but uh, I always go back to Nokia for inspiration uh, it was just beautiful you know just look at the apps you know like they have these backgrounds you know uh, personalized uh, like what more could you have asked you know like such a uh, consistent experience uh nokia should have just gone ahead with the migo you know uh again i haven't used migo a lot but what i understand is that the way nokia had uh, already made things uh, so organized like if you see microsoft apps like each app is different apple okay now with ios 16 it's coming like you're making some sense uh, Google also they had to go all the way to Android 13 to bring more like uh, consistency in that their apps but if you see here uh, we have we have a beautiful consistency you know in uh, in uh, in Nokia's apps you know like common wallpaper behind you know and uh, again you know this level of customization can never be seen anywhere so again this is a Nokia 808 review without the 41 megapixel review i'll be covering that one in a separate video and uh, i do love this phone you know it's, it's just something that's never gonna like uh, die uh, i'll try to take care of it i'm sure there are other people who love this phone for what it stood for it is and was and will remain an engineering marvel from 2012 uh, for its beautiful camera sensor you know and uh, more than that uh, i'll be covering its uh, top features uh, NFC and an FM modulator that you could listen to your car and uh, I can't tell you how much I used while I was driving to my university days at that time we didn't have audio ebooks uh, audio books uh, and uh, this was the best thing you just upload an mp3 file press the button connect to your car's uh, radio and enjoy the ride you know learn something new so it was such a such a great uh, thing you know and and again like having nfc uh i'm not sure why but for payments or maybe for a quick uh, data transfer uh it, it was just a phone packed with the uh, and uh, yeah before i end this i wanted to show you uh some shortcuts that the phone has if you hold the lock key down and it's going to activate the flash so again you know like uh, these are small small things that uh, never made this phone stand out uh, i wish really nokia would have marketed this phone its shortcuts you know all all the good features you know uh, on it and somehow convince the world to stay with symbian or move to amigo uh, but stephen elop uh, he took down the company uh, real bad and uh, Anyways, uh, feeling really emotional. I uh, hope you guys enjoy my content. Uh, please do subscribe, comment, and ding that notification bell. And if you need more videos on a Nokia 808, please do let me know. Also, if you want to see more content about uh, the, like what I feel is the next 808, uh, compact size, great cameras, the uh, iPhone SE, please do let me know. And uh, we can definitely uh, make some videos on it. Uh, even though it's not uh, my cup of tea, uh, but uh, we can definitely 
uh, make some uh, Apple videos uh, and uh, and I can teach you some tip and tricks you know tips and tricks on this phone as well so hope you guys enjoyed my content uh, see you on the next one peace out